Hi lads and lasses, Modus Pelican here, with a video looking at campers in Battlefield 1. A lad by the name of The Extreme tweeted out about campers and said I should make a video on the subject. So naturally, I was like, yeah, okay. If you enjoyed this video, please call every male you see, Papa Pelly, and every female you see, Mama Modest, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. That moment when support and medic meet. Camping in Battlefield 1, or really any game, is a sensitive issue. If you have never got angry at someone camping, then you are either Mother Teresa, or you only play video games when you're high. Or both. Camping has many forms, so let's go through the different ways players like to camp whilst playing Battlefield 1. Firstly, let's start with the classic stereotype camper, the guy who sits in a room with a shotgun. Being killed by a static noob who is slav squatting in the corner of a room is hands down one of the most despairing ways to die. The camper in question is probably just a player who is very new to the game or more likely, a blood relative of Adolf Hitler. These players usually have a vitamin D deficiency in real life and in the game, as neither themselves or their virtual avatars ever leave the corners of their sad little rooms. And if you are wondering, I had to take a cold shower after recording this footage to make myself pure again in the eyes of the cruel gaming gods. The Sniper Camper is the player who likes to camp on distant hills trying to hit money shots on unsuspecting infantry. Despite me referring to these players as hill humping fucks in previous videos, they are far less annoying than those who camp in the corner of rooms. When they do manage to snipe you, it usually triggers an emotional cocktail of frustration, anger, but also a hint of respect as hitting long shots with a sniper rifle does actually take some skill. I like to show these snipers said respect by riding a horse all the way up to their gay little hideout, teabagging them for a while and then eventually putting them down to rest. Bonus points if you mess with them for a while first. The Vehicle Camper is the player who sits in vehicles at the back of the map, most often found in an artillery truck doing their absolute best to make sure all 32 players on the opposing team hate them. Capturing objectives is strictly a no-go for these wanking tank jockeys as they might risk scratching their precious vehicles. These dudes would rather see their team lose than their kill death ratio go down. And yeah, I will admit that this strategy does keep your KD high, but I am sure these guys were the same people snitching on their homies at elementary school to try and improve their own grades. It's like, yeah, maybe that will work, but no one fucking likes you. Just remember, vehicle campers, bullets might not be able to penetrate the thick armor plating on your tank, just like love will never penetrate your cold metal heart. The dynamite camper is honestly pretty funny. These cheeky sons of bitches place dynamite on the ground and tactically position themselves so that they can let off the explosives when the enemy runs past. Oh shit, that's probably the first of my guests arriving for my Tupperware party. Get good guy, would you mind stepping in for a moment mate? I've got to go and sell some plastic containers to middle class mothers. Yeah, no worries dude. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dynamite Camper is nicknamed the Teenage Pregnancy because he loves surprise explosions. This is what Pelican usually does, right? Classless sex jokes? I mean, do you ever wonder what happened to the good clean content of like 2006? Instead of timeless videos of cats failing, we now have an Australian basketball player impersonating a bird. He can't even be bothered to record his own audio anymore because he's too busy hosting bloody Tupperware parties. All right, mate, come on, let's move on. Anyway, the dynamite camper is as good at using explosives as Get Good Guy is at hurting my feelings. Go drink a cup of tea, you English cricket playing sunshine hating twat. The PTFO camper is the type of camper who is hardly a camper at all. So you might be wondering, why did I include them in this video? <clears throat> Anyway, these guys utilize one of the most effective strategies in the game, rush to an objective and then camp there. Any kind of camping on an objective is a great way to both capture and defend it, and is definitely a socially acceptable way to camp on the battlefield. I suppose in many ways, camping is kind of like watching adult videos. It's simply situational. For example, it is not appropriate to watch adult videos at your workplace, but it is appropriate in the comfort of your own home. 
Or for example, it is not appropriate to watch adult videos at your grandma's 85th birthday brunch, but it is appropriate in your car late at night in a McDonald's car park. Camping is exactly the same, as sometimes it is appropriate. It's not cool to camp in a random room, but if you're playing the objective, then you're all right with me. Obviously Get Good Guy and I were just having a laugh, he actually has an excellent Battlefield channel that I would definitely recommend checking out. I've been a big fan of his content for a long time now, and he is a top bloke as well, so yeah, link below. Remember, stay moist, aka hydrated. I really feel as if there are too many people undervaluing the benefit of drinking enough water each day. To my patrons, you guys are fucking legends. Thank you so much for the generosity. Thanks for watching, until next time, and as always, stay classy, you gorgeous motherfucker.